English football, but real substance at the core of both Manchester City and Arsenal. They meet here in the city of Manchester, and we're just about ready to go with live coverage on EA TV. Hello and welcome to the Etihad Stadium. Welcome I'm Derek Ray, joined in the commentary position by Lee Dixon. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Manchester City up against Arsenal. Thanks, Derek. I'm sure both coaches will want their players to start with a real zip in their play. Really show the opposition what they're in for. That could lead to fireworks. Let's hope so. Well, the star has been on the rise for the last few years, Kevin De Bruyne. Lee, in particular, what do you like about his style of play? I absolutely like everything about this lad, the way that he plays the game, his attitude, all of that stuff. But I don't think there's a better passer of the ball and seer of passes of the ball than him in world football. And I'd say that with a lot of competition. He is absolutely brilliant at finding the pass. And so they start at 11 for Manchester City. Everson gets the nod in goal. Alexander Zinchenko starts with João Cancelo in the fullback positions. Ilkay Gundogan plays with Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of midfield. And the focal point in attack is Gabriel Jesus. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Bernd Leno gets the nod in goal. Thomas Partey starts with Granit Xhaka in the centre of the pitch. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Alexandre Lacazette. And they kick off here. Gabriel Martinelli. Martin Odegaard. That's a useful cross. And he needed a bit more downward direction on the header. Gabriel Jesus. Mares. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Could play it in. Well, he took care of it defensively. Good vision from Gabriel Jesus. Gundogan. There it is. A delightful start to this match. Just what they were hoping for. Well, here it is again. It's all about the pace in transition. They were so quick to get out from the back. And the pressure comes as he knew it would. But it's the strength that impresses me. It's a great goal in the end. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Lacazette. Martinelli. De Bruyne. Well, he's given it away. Real danger. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Clever read by Xhaka. Well, he successfully got past him. In behind for him to chase. Well, it might still work out for them. Danger averted for now. And he's lost custody of the ball here. Thomas. 
And that will be the keeper's ball. Gabriel Jesus. Slipshod passing. Granit Xhaka. A danger here as he runs at them. Gundogan. David Lewis. Well, that's a foul and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. Has eyes for goal! And that is a free kick artist at work. What a goal it was! Well, here's the replay, Derek, and it's lovely technique. He almost side puts it in. That flattens the arc out a bit, almost passing the ball into the back of the net. It's brilliant. It's going their way, 2-0. Lacazette. Lovely ball over the top. Good defending to prevent the chance. Gabriel Jesus. Phil Foden now. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Is this the moment? Well, that attack going up a dead end, and the keeper has the ball. David Luiz. Now Lacazette. Gabriel Jesus. That's an exquisite pass from Gabriel Jesus. Just couldn't capitalise there. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. Gabriel Jesus bad challenge and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next and following that tackle he's got to go into the book yeah he's missed time more than anything there just mistimed his tackle well they must exercise caution standing off as they are a chance then for the respective managers to address their charges it is half time here well, truth be told, he's only had a very limited influence on the game. What have you made of his performance late? Yeah, definitely, Derek. He's been below par today, not tested the keeper enough. The team do rely on him as well, and he's not done it today. That's why they... Second half underway here, and Arsenal quite simply need to lift themselves. Extremely sloppy in possession. Martin Odegaard. Well, is it going to end up being productive for them? Oh, what an opportunity! Well, he really read that brilliantly. And just the header that was required. The goal they were in search of. Well, as you can see, it's really superb play. He thinks a lot quicker than anyone else. He gets his head on it. It's a great finish. So back at action, and Arsenal just one behind now. Mares. Stones. The ball with Rodri. Alexander Zinchenko. 
And now Kevin De Bruyne. That's a fine-looking run by Gabriel Jesus. And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. An alert intervention. And a strong tackle. Foden. Gabriel Jesus now. And in with a real chance. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, we'll see it again here. If your ball watch against the 1 2, this is what happens. And he composes himself, coolly slides it past the lonely keeper, who will be asking questions about where his back four went to. No shortage of goals on this match. 3 1. Martin Erdegaard. Now, let's see what they can do here. Top class defending. Arsenal completely controlling possession. However, after that, the coach will be disappointed with what they produced. They need to be a little bit more clinical in front of goal. Gabriel Jesus, beautifully weighted ball, oh he's put it just a fraction wide of the post, well many will regard him as the complete midfield player, Kevin De Bruyne, and how do you shackle him, it's well nigh impossible Lee. Yeah I bet the keeper is sick of the sight of him, he's been peppering that goal from all sorts of angles as you can see, good goals to boot as well. David Luiz. Not an especially strong challenge. Gundogan in the centre. Well, he got the touch on the ball, and so a corner it'll be. And time for the change now. And De Bruyne firing it over. Can he finish? And good work to deny the chance. Well, another corner, hot on the heels of the last one. Going short. And I'll tell you what, that didn't miss by much. City move it forward with purpose. Real chance. And a goal! If there were any remaining doubts, that will settle the issue. Well, here's the replay, and as we can see, the defence can't cope with the through ball. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him, gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. And it's a case of just five minutes left. And given that we're in the second half, and it has got a bit ugly from the scoreline point of view, what positives can you find, Lee? Well, I was marking that performance for Arsenal out of 10. I'll give them. And this time, it's in! And that is not going to count. The decision is offside, Lee. Well, it's a good decision from the assistant referee. Spot on there. The electronic board has been held in the air, and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Arsenal have it back. We have entered the final minute of normal time. Foden. And the assistant referee has raised his flag. Offside.
And that is that full time here and a win for City. Lee, your verdict? Well, being potent up front gives you a great chance in any game. And there was certainly that today. Sharp, clinical and exciting to watch for sure. Very much the organiser in chief, Kevin De Bruyne. Lee, what in particular did you see in this match from the talented Belgian? Well, clearly the difference between the two sides today. Two goals, a really good performance, ran into the channel, did everything right. Absolutely, 9 out of 10.